Well, I'm Lucian Avery, and uh, we have a blacksmithing apprenticeship at the Folklife Center uh, this year with um, with Aaron. And um, yeah, he's very self-motivated, which I, I really appreciate, I'll tell you. So he ends up coming in with projects that he knows how to do 90% of it, but there's a bunch of little questions along the way that he sort of wants to have guidance on. So so like today, I'm pretty much working on my project, and he's working on his project, and now when he needs a, you know, a question answered or a hand on something, then, then he can just let me know. Name's Aaron Bushy. I've been apprenticing under Lucian Avery from blacksmithing and making hardware and chandeliers and anything else I have questions about. Right now I got a chandelier I'm building for some neighbors of ours. I came to Lucian's and started drawing a layout on a big sheet metal at uh, the same dimensions as it's going to be. Then I started by making the, the main body of the chandelier, riveting on the end, and then I'm starting on the arms today. So, Yeah, he must be blacksmith. When you see a student and you know, like, they're not wasting time when they're here. You know, he's like, he's focused on his project and what he's doing, and he's not, um, you know, thinking about his girlfriend or his, you know, he's not diddling with the cell phone or whatever. <laughs> you know, he's, he's blacksmithing when he's here. Yeah, it's been great. It's helped me a lot learn new techniques and little tricks and how to make stuff. Yeah, he's amazing. Because <laughs> he lets you do it, and if you mess up, he just makes you do it again. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's really easy going, so, yeah. I think of it, yeah, as, as a skill that's that's worth passing on and that um, that would be that's good for the humanity or America or however you want to look at it to have in the future, you know, to have people who, who have the basics of some of these these skills that are really, you know, were foundation skills for our culture, our, you know, American culture, however you want to put it, Vermont culture or European culture, um, and that really have gone by the wayside, you know. Um, there are very, very few people who can do, you know, real forging, you know, get stuff hot and really uh, shape it. So um, so I guess, yeah, I often do think of it as good to have, you know, for me to be training other people out there who can do that and who can in turn pass on these skills.